Good afternoon, everybody. <clears throat> Chad from Colorado Giants here. Just me. Nothing new or exciting. That's a lie. It is uh, April the 9th. It is a Tuesday. It is a beautiful day. Highs here in Denver are just about 80 degrees high, 70s. Beautiful day. However, tomorrow we have a blizzard warning. No, I'm not kidding. We have a legitimate blizzard warning for tomorrow. So trying to get as much done as possible today so that uh yeah that i can get this uh get everything rototilled so because the soil is nice and dry and i really don't want to mess with it a whole heck of a lot so what i did was yesterday i came in and i cleaned out the garden i cleaned out the mess that i should have cleaned out in the fall of last year um today i put down some compost and then i came back and put some peat moss on it so this is ready to rototill. Actually, I'm going to rake it out a little bit, uh, make it kind of even. Then I'm going to hit it with a uh, 30-inch tiller. And then I'm in a bit of a dilemma with a pumpkin patch as the chickens fluff in it. Um, I got all of my perlite from the meeting. I've got it laid out where I want it to go, but I don't have my soil test back yet, which I really wanted to put my you know whatever i needed to add i wanted to add and put down before i rototilled it because i don't want to over rototill um you know there is such a thing as too much rototilling and i, and I don't want to be guilty of that i really pr would prefer just to rototill kind of one more time and then just leave it at that so i might uh, i might reach out to uh some elder pumpkin growers and see what they think but i got the perlite here so that's really all that I'm going to add other than um, just any amendments. Yesterday I went and I got a pallet of mulch. So we need to mulch our yard. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to rake. I'm going to rake. I'm going to rototill this over here. And we'll be back and then we'll go inside and we'll check on the pumpkin seed leaves. All right, and that is that. BCS. Man, that is that is one heck of a, one heck of a nice machine. I tell you what. So here is our one, six, our six thirty inch by, I don't know, about forty foot or so uh, beds. Those are all nice and tilled up, and that does a real good job. I would say this is probably at least six inches worth of tillage. So yeah, that uh, real nice, real nice till broke up all of the uh, all the roots and such from last season so one of the things we're going to do definitely do different this year is we're going to use some weed cloth and then we've been toying with the idea of mulching in between our rows but still haven't uh haven't made up our mind on that one i didn't till right there because we have a lot of kind of holdover onions and garlic which i may till over anywho we'll we'll see but this here is good enough for right now it came out real nice that tiller does a really good job bcs 853 so now i just have to make up my mind how am i gonna till this fast forward two days and now it is i uh, what what day is this today is thursday so my 1984 barren seeds are they're out, but they're not. They're not looking so hot. Uh, my temperatures were pretty spot on. What I usually germinate things at, so I'm not sure. Not too sure what's going on. Um, but yeah, so I ended up not tilling, and we had about four inches, well, two, two ish, two ish inches of snow. And then it's actually really nice today, and it's all started to melt off already. Yesterday it was a bit of a pain in the butt because it was raining all day. Then it snowed and got cold, so we had basically just sheets of ice over everything. Ultimately, I did not, I did not till my patch. The perlite's still out there. I did get all of my, I got my soil test back. I need to add maybe five or six pounds worth of stuff, about uh, you know, 15, 20 pounds worth of kelp meal in there in totality. So as soon as the next day. It, uh, it is all dry and sunny. I'm going to get out there until. But uh, we're going to end this here video. <clears throat> and I'll, uh, I'll show you guys what I'm going to do uh, for the rest of my seeds. But we'll make that its own video uh, just because. Because I said, and that's why. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Have a good one.